Hello boys and girls, welcome to a new episode of Unity 2D Tutorials. In this episode, uh, we're going to talk about the camera mechanics. Uh, previously we've done the following mechanics of the player with a smooth factor. Uh, now we're going to add something crucial also, which is the bounce. And it uh, basically determines how far the camera can go in both ways, up and down, left and right. Uh, let's start. Let's start by explaining what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. As we did before, we've got ourselves a running camera follow mechanics with a smooth factor and an offset, which is cool. But when I play a game, I can see that I don't want, the, I don't want the camera to be looking in this empty space in here. The same thing, I don't want the camera to be looking outside here. Also, if you have a game where you're in a tunnel, you don't want the camera to be to go this high, you know? So we, ha we have to do this kind of a limitation for the camera. For that, we're gonna work with simply vector threes and clamping. Clamping means limiting. So let's go here. What we're gonna do in theory is, we're gonna define minimum, va minimum x, y, z values and maximum x, y, z values and then what we're doing here we're getting the position applying the offset and then lerping and then what we're going to do is before we actually lerp we're going to have to check this position so what this position is going to do is we're going to verify if the target position is out of bound or not limit it to the minimum and maximum values we're not gonna do exactly what I'm saying here like word by word but we're gonna implement a method that does exactly this stuff you know included so what we're gonna do here I'm gonna start with it's better to put it here. I'm gonna start with doing two vector threes. I'm gonna call it minimum position. I'm gonna minimum values and then the next one maximum values. You can have multiple values if you put comma. Easy to do. So before we start going in here, I'm gonna explain in the editor what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is we're gonna uh, assign these two vectors, the minimum and the maximum, to a minimum values of each x, y, and z. Since this is a 2D game, the z value will remain the same, but we're going to work with x and y. So we're going to make this minus 10, minus 10, because we have the camera at minus 10. Before I do the script, I'm going to explain what's going to happen. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to, I want to make sure that the camera does not go lower than this, right? So we're going to have to find a way of getting the position of the camera at this, at this actual state which is 3.32 right this is the y value and we're gonna have to make sure that the camera doesn't go outside of these bounds and the same thing outside of these bounds and the same thing doesn't go outside of the upper part it's really simple all we have to do is first we have to move the camera manually itself and detect one value at a time so let's go with the x value so we don't get really confused so the x value we have to determine the mi minimum and the maximum which is the start and end of level so let's go with the minimum we have to of we have to stop thinking about the y right now because it's not really important at, at this stage we want to think about the x value so this one is not correct so we have to move it as much as i can and pay attention to the game view so i'm gonna go with this one this one is minus 13.34 so i put it in the minimum values so if i drag it all the way right and get the maximum value and be 14 that's it that's the x value now let's zero this out let's check the y value right so for the lower part the minimum is going to be a lower one i want it to be like this 3.36 we put in the minimum and the highest value i don't want it to go over the grades so we can move it to the left or right so we can have a reference view so this is outside the bound this is inside the bound so it's going to be 7.8 
you gotta know that uh, the camera not moving outside the bounds doesn't mean the character will not be able to move outside the bounds but technically if there's a a roof in here or a ceiling the character will hit it so what's gonna happen here is I have this set up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to actually write the script for it what I'm gonna what we're gonna do here we're gonna have to make another vector 3 call it uh, we're gonna call it bound position that's the proper way and we're gonna have a new vector 3 and inside this vector 3 we're gonna input the three values you see okay it doesn't oh. x y and z let's start with the x I'm gonna use uh, a method called uh, from unity engine itself it's called mathf clamp what this does it clamps the value that I give it with a minimum and maximum value so if you see here it takes three fields the first is the value I want to change the second is the minimum and the third is the maximum so right now so we don't get lost we are in the vector 3 first value of vector 3 we have three values of vector 3 let me actually make it like this so we we see everything fine but we're gonna expand it later so what we're gonna do is we're gonna now modify the x value of the vector we're gonna go max f the clamp and the value that we want to modify is the target itself target position dot x this is exactly and simply you can input next to it the minimum value of x the maximum value of x that's it so minimum values dot x maximum value dot x before we go ahead I want to do this thing where actually it will look nicer I want to explain what what happens here so what we're doing with the x value of this vector we're telling it take this value and then check if it's lower than this don't let it go underneath it if it's higher than this don't let it go over it so basically what it does it just puts two bounds to limit it from going outside this range now let's go comma and we can write the same thing here but we have to feed it the y value the minimum y and the maximum y and the last one it's going to be z z z it's that simple so we're bounding the x value between these two and then we're bounding the y value between these two we're bounding the z value between these two that's as simple as that i think i deleted a comma in here okay so what's going to happen afterwards so we have this position right that is the player itself and then what we're doing is we're modifying that position according to the limits that we're gonna, we just set here and then we use this position we can use this position to actually transit so before we had to transit from this current to the target but right now we have this bound in which we're going to use it here bound position with the same value itself if everything is good we're going to be having a bound values of the camera and you remember we actually set this up before we actually wrote the script we, we went here and checked all these stuff so what's going to happen right now if I play come on yep so you saw that it actually transit upwards to the minimum value which is fine exactly what we need like on the left side we can we can look anymore from here if you right go right keep keep, keep going you see it's limit in here and you see it doesn't look underneath anymore but if we go up here also it doesn't go higher I mean we can see at the moment because we not we're not that high jumpers uh, for testing we can go we make this for example six right so you see it's it's limiting here well, let's bring it back as it was so that's it and uh, for good practice uh, let's keep the camera like this would be much nicer so with this script we're able to limit the bounds of the camera in which your level will be in and uh, you won't have to see empty spaces anymore uh, you can add a lot of stuff in here in it you can advance it make it easier look nicer here and then you can customize this to each level that's the cool thing about it and uh, that's it I hope you guys like this video 
and um, we're gonna have more videos about the uh, 2D tutorials it's gonna be exciting if you did like it hit the like and subscribe button if you if you got some questions post it up downstairs in the comment section uh, and from here and uh, I wanna say see you in the next one bye bye